Welcome back to another edition. Uh, I want to talk about removing toxin sources. This is uh, generally a cheap way, unless you have amalgam fillings, um, of removing the toxic exposure. You know, when, when we're doing all this he these healthy things, it's important that we take away the source of our toxicity. That should be one of the first steps. Um, so uh, the first thing is if you have mercury fillings, obviously you saw, you read my story, heard about my story, get rid of your mercury fillings, but make sure you do it from a qualified dentist, a biological dentist. They're gonna use a, a, a rubber dam, like a dental dam that like covers your mouth and just exposes one tooth. And they should have an ionizer in the room. They should be telling you uh, to take cilantro and chlorella and have some sort of idea of how mercury works. But uh, don't, my advice would be not to listen to the cilantro and chlorella idea. Uh, at, definitely don't listen to that is my opinion because that further chelates the problem uh, further chelates the metals, exacerbates the problem, and uh, I've seen it cause some real serious issues. So uh, what you want to do is take binders when you get those fillings out, and we're going to talk about binders a little later. Um, so I would avoid seafood as well. Seafood is, uh, for the most part, contaminated with mercury and plastics and other chemicals, petrochemical, uh, petrochemical chemicals, sorry, it's first thing in the morning here, so it's going to take me a little while to catch my words. Um, but uh, yeah, and then we're, oh yeah, by the way, with your the dentist, check out IAOMT. That's an organization, uh, and also DAMS, D-A-M-S. Uh, those are organizations that will help you find biological dentists in your area. You can also just Google it. Um, so now we're in our kitchen, and the things that normal people have, you know, it's interesting. I wanted to film this in like a normal person's house. But I literally don't have any normal people, friends anymore. Everyone who I uh, deal with and talk to and am friends with, they've already made all of these changes because I'm always preaching about it. <laughs> so, so I don't have any friends who have the shitty cookware, the shitty soaps. So I, uh, we have to do it in my place. But uh, to start off, we'll go with cookware, right? Um, you can get a glass pot to boil your water in. Uh, I can post a link to this on Amazon. It's really, really cool. It's just, uh, Arthur, you saw this yesterday. It's just cool to, to watch it boil yeah, yeah. in glass. Um, the other things I have are all stainless steel. You know, I use this, this stainless steel. It's aluminum clad, but the clad is covered by more stainless steel. So it's not actually an aluminum pot um, that's exposed. And I have, uh, yeah, the other stuff is actually being washed here. Um, but, you know, more stainless steel, which needs to be cleaned better. <laughs> cleaned better. <laughs> but, but, but uh, yeah, the, the best is actually ceramic, and, uh, but it's really expensive. Um, the company is called uh, Extrema, makes a really good pots and pans. Um, but uh, I think it's called Extrema and La Crusette. Yeah, La, La Crusette and Extrema. And, um, and uh, yeah, they're really expensive. So I just stick with stainless steel. You don't want to be using uh, cast iron. Cast iron leaches the synthetic iron into, into uh, the system. Um, you don't want to be using copper or aluminum. Um, stainless steel is really the go-to. And... Um, <clears throat> Yeah, and then we have dish soap, right? So this company isn't like the, the absolute best. Um, there are companies who make a more plant-based uh, soaps and dish detergents than, than this one, but it's at Whole Foods and it's cheap. And, you know, for, I don't really feel and smell a film that comes on to the glass. But when I, if I use Ajax or like a typical... Uh, you know, the typical companies that people use, I'll actually feel that film on the glass and on the plate. I can smell it and taste it. So I use this to clean my dishes. I'll use uh, Method to uh, Myers Clean Day to clean the, the countertops. You can also just mix essential oils with water, which actually I'm probably going to start doing at some point soon. Um, I use Ecos Dish Gel. Now, all of these companies are interchangeable. Like I think this company makes all the products. All three of these companies make all the different products. So I just really just 
there's no real rhyme or reason for why I have which company. Um, that I just make a conscious effort to be getting the companies that are making an effort. You know, there's companies that make an effort and there's companies that don't. The ones that make an effort, there's going to be things on it like words like, um, you know, uh, let's see. Um, well, hmm. Yeah, okay. Made with plant derived ingredients, natural essential oils, birch bark extract. Made without parabens and, fi and uh, phthalates, <laughs> phthalates uh, glycol solvents, chlorine or formaldehyde, artificial colors, right? So they make an effort. Ecos, right? Plant power washes away residues. Now, that doesn't mean that there's absolutely no chemicals. Some of these things are uh, going to be, um, actually this company is pretty good. Almost everything is a plant-based ingredient. But again, we're not trying to be perfect. Um, you can dive deeper with this. You can, you can make sure everything is organic and, and perfect. But in my opinion, we have to pick our battles. We can't go for the premium organic ingredients in every single category of this unless you have a relatively unlimited budget. I know I don't. So, um, so yeah. And, uh, this soap, what else we got here? Um, in the kitchen, that's it. Now we're going to move to the banyo. Welcome to where the magic happens. You know, in, in MTV cribs, the magic happens in the bedroom, but for the detox dude, all the magic happens in the bathroom. This is where the detox happens, baby. Um,